We did some deal hunting and we think we found the cheapest HP Victus on the market. This right here is an HP Victus with the RX 6400 and Ryzen 5 5600G. Should you buy one for yourself? We're about to find out, but first a word from today's sponsor. High quality RAM is essential to ensuring you get maximum performance out of your gaming PC. That's why we love using Lexar Ares RGB DDR5 desktop memory. Lexar's Ares RAM is specifically designed for gaming and it shows. This next gen DDR5 memory delivers peak performance with speeds up to 6000 megahertz. It also features an aluminum heatsink to keep those temps under control during those heavy gaming sessions. Lexar's Ares RGB DDR5 also has built-in power management to enhance efficiency and is designed with on-die ECC to improve stability and reliability. If you're a hardcore gamer or PC enthusiast looking to experience superior performance, check out Lexar Ares RGB DDR5 desktop memory through the links in the description down below, and big thanks to Lexar for sponsoring today's video. All right, guys, so we have an HP Victus here. Again, we love the HP Victus because it comes in so many different spec ranges from higher end configurations with like 3060s and 3060 Ti's to budget ones with the RX 6400, which is one we haven't taken a look at yet. I love so this note. one's from a eBay refurbisher that we're not super familiar with. They're called Primetime Buys, but I'm sure they have a lot of reviews. And it looks like we got the eight gig version with the 512 gig SSD, the 6400 and the 5600 G. But yeah, on eBay, if you look up HP Victus 15L, you can get some really good deals on these in refurb condition and they come with all the same stuff. The only thing I don't like is it doesn't come with the cardboard that we know and love. I know, that cardboard's just amazing. Did we get a mouse with this one? Oh, we did, okay. okay. It's yeah. over there. Yeah, it's in there. They don't, yeah, they definitely don't package them quite as well as like the, just the plain cardboard, honestly. The plain cardboard just fits so nicely. Plain cardboard. Yeah, I'm wondering where they get these from if they don't have the original packaging. It could be like a return type situation where they're buying like broken ones and refurbishing them. But really, it looks like it's in decent shape. I don't see anything like obvious here. Um, and then we have keyboard and mouse switch. Is that is that, the, is that an HP? I swear, well, it is HP, but that does not look like the Victus one. I'm no, used it to doesn't seeing. at all. That's what I was saying. It looks totally different. Yeah, we do get a power cord that uh, looks like it could be used, but that's not really, not, not a big deal to us. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a screwdriver. Um, I guess first we'll go over the ports real quick. Yeah. Just, that's, that's what we do around here. So in the front, in typical Victus fashion, we have a lot of ports. We have a combo headphone jack. We have four USB 3.0s, one USB type C power button. So that's looking pretty good in the front. And they're usually a little lack cluster in the back. We just have our additional audio ports for a separate mic and headset. We do have two USB 3s, two USB 2s, Ethernet, and then we have two output displays. So we have one HDMI, one display port, and you're obviously not going to use this one here. With the 5600G, you are getting Gen 3 support only, and with a graphics card like the RX 6400, which is a Gen 4 card, but a buy 4 card, we're not getting the full bandwidth you normally would with even Gen 3. So that is going to hold us back a bit. I'm wondering how bad it actually is going to be. <laughs> oh, good. Goodness. I was just curious, yeah. He's so out. this is actually kind of cool to see. So this is a X16 physical lane, but then you notice how the actual pins only go to about here. So that is what X4 means. If it went halfway, it'd be X8. And if it went all the way, it's X16. So just a little, little fun experiment to show you guys. But it's weird seeing a 6400 in like such a, a basic R7 OEM. 240 looking card. Yeah. And I also do notice, I wonder if maybe the card was refurbished because there's no anti-tamper stickers. Could be. And usually there'd be one, but I don't know. Just, just things that we noticed. Yeah, that's something to consider. And also we do use these cards over at PC Bros. Tech or PC Selling Business in Optiplexes. And we noticed the performance is still very good even in a Gen 3 system like that. Oh, yeah. So I imagine with a higher end CPU like a 5600G, we'll just expect even better performance even though it will still be limited a little bit compared to a Gen 4 system. So we have a 350 watt power supply. That's actually pretty respectable. And check this out, kind of upgradable. It actually comes with a single six plus two pin. So up to an eight pin. So you could put like a 6600 in here. It does only have one stick of Samsung RAM 3200 megahertz, eight gigs, a 512 gig NVMe, and then like Matt said, 5600G, six core 12 thread that is gen three only technically, but I don't think we're gonna lose a whole lot of performance from that. I think this thing's gonna perform pretty well. For $400, I really can't complain too much, but we'll see what the benchmarks are like, and we'll most likely do some uh, upgrade comparisons with dual channel memory as well, 16 gigs of it, because it is very affordable to do. And uh, yeah, if the performance is good, we'll let you all know, but let's go ahead and install some games to see how it performs. Let's do it. All right, guys, we're playing Apex Legends. We're playing some team deathmatch, and we are on the basically like medium preset, medium low, uh, FOV all the way up, 1080p, native res. All right, let's, let's let some textures load in. Load in, you know, be patient, guys. Yeah, not, not too shabby. I mean, obviously with this system, we are gonna be limited by the 6400. The 5600G can definitely handle a better GPU. Um, and with these higher frame rates, it's, it's, it's working, but we're definitely noticing a little bit of stutter here and there. Yeah, a little bit of stutter, and I don't know, some of it could be contributed to the lack of Gen 4 support. I really wonder how much better or 
maybe the same it would be if we had Gen 4 support. That's true with the 6400. You are Gen 4 by 4, which can limit you. This entertains McAllister. You know, it's like, that's how I did. It's McAllister. He's... Good job. Yeah, buddy. This guy is... Okay. Oh my god, no, he's just sniping. He's just horrible. Oh, actually. there it is. He has to, he has to oh! sit so to snipe. Yes. yes, teammate, thank you. Little do they know I can see through. <laughs> I can matter? see through the smoke. You can feel back to that. <laughs> it's an off day, guys. It's an off day. <laughs> that you have a gun. <laughs> oh, no, that's it. Yeah, it's it. There it is. This guy's aim is worse than mine, surprisingly. Oh, 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 oh. Missiles. Oh. oh! Is that the guy again? You think so? It's the guy again. It's Nash. Killing. Steve Nash? Don't punch me. Do not punch me. No! No! Suck! It's a bit, it's, it's fault. over. Yeah. Hashtag blame well, teammates in Apex. Teammates in the PC, guys. It's its fault. No, I'm just playing. This PC is actually, for the for the price, is pretty impressive. It's definitely like a weird pairing yeah. um, that it doesn't really feel like it was meant to be, but I mean, it's not bad for the price though. We'll move on to the next game. All right, guys, we are now in Fortnite and McAllister messed with my character. McAllister, why would you do that? Just kidding, I saw you do it. But uh, we're running medium settings. Uh, we're running balanced uh, TSR and we're getting 80 to 90 FPS. Not too shabby so far. Really, we'll just gotta see, are the stutters gonna be a problem long term? Um, we'll see once we drop for sure, but. <laughs> What is the recoil on this gun? <laughs> he knows how to build. He knows how to put up a wall. Ah! Running away. God, I feel like people are coming after me. I'm in a bad position right now. I didn't mean to put this, these ice, ice cubes on. on your feet? I think that's what that snow cone did. <laughs> ah! I guess shields. Okay. Nice there he is. Is still there. A grenade. Risky business. It was really risky, bad business. <laughs> Let's go again, ladies and gentlemen. He doesn't have a weapon. He's he's fish bait. Shark bait. Yes. Yay! I gotta kill. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's two kills on the board right now. But he's oh, trolling! He's so bad, he's so bad! Oh, oh. No! Oh. oh my god! Oh. That was him, look at it! There's the gun! <laughs> No! Oh, they're like, hey, what's up? Complex cake four. What if they were actually the ones marking you this the, whole time? They were they were baiting. I, I, that would be that'd be something. But yeah, Fortnite runs pretty good considering single channel memory. Somewhat oh, it is a budget GPU. Mm -hmm. And the limitation of Gen 3. I'm pretty happy with the performance. I think if you gotta be pretty happy with the performance, let's go ahead and stress this thing to its absolute limits and then just talk about the value proposition of this PC. All right, guys, this HP Victus overall is a pretty good value for the $400 price point we definitely do recommend, especially if you don't want to build your own PC. But if you do want to venture out and build your own, you could probably get something, I'd say comparable, maybe slightly better than this, but you are going to have to buy some used parts 100%. Yeah, that's the biggest thing. I mean, if you are comfortable already buying a used PC, because this is a refurb PC, then maybe if you're comfortable building a PC as well, you should dive into the used market and build some yourself, because this isn't like crazy good value, but it's at that value mark at the $400 price point that if someone's looking for a very easy PC that's kind of like the console of PCs. It's an easy stepping stone from getting from console to PC. The Victus is a really good, reliable option. You can definitely shop around for one of these things on eBay or buy it straight from HP. They have some good deals as well. Check the links down below. They'll be filling links that will help us out. Let us know what you think of this Victus down below. And if there's any other PCs you want to see here on the channel, let us know in the comments. And as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toastybros. And do not forget to like like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. So this gaming PC right here will be available at PCBros.tech with a one year warranty. Forget that 30 day eBay warranty. We go ahead and just add another year on there for you guys. Cause we're crazy and mm -hmm. we don't like money. Just kidding. PCBros.tech, use code TOSIBROS if you wanna check out the save 2% because again, we just don't like money. See yeah. you guys later, goodbye. Peace out.